Welcoming you back to Data Matters within Clinical Trials. If you haven't seen the first part of the web seminar, please click above. Sure, you can just say right now, oh, this sounds quite cost incentive uh, and also complex. Um, you might say, and yes, I agree, e-system have a cost impact on trials. That's not negotiable. But considering the possibility cost savings and the trial operations, especially on monitoring activities that tend to be manually driven and by its this time consuming, this will save overall costs in clinical trials. So for an example, monitoring costs is one of the most extensive parts in clinical trial. There are a lot of like references concerning monitoring costs and the cost for source data verifications. And if we compare them with the e-system costs that range more in the lower expensive parts of clinical trial costs, um, you can clearly see that if we can, even if we have to invest a bit more money in e-system costs while reducing monitoring costs, they will directly have a benefit cost uh, effect on a trial. And there, we are right now talking only about money and not the additional value of higher compliance, for example, using EPRO, or also the higher data integrity of e-source data. These are benefits that come along with technology. Sure, this evaluation process and uh, data source assessment is an upfront investment. You're right. But this is the nature of investments, I would just say. They pay out in the end, if wisely done in the beginning. Coming to the complexity, sure, yes, there again, the complexity and the skill set needed is also raising. To be honest, there is a transition need nowadays. But actually, in my mind, 30 years ago, mobile phones were rare and we did our banking on paper sheets at the bank desk. Nowadays, smartphones are commonly used and without a hurdle and online banking is uh, the new standard. Thus, I would not be afraid on changes. There's a huge potential for us uh, to unlock um, and this change can be guided by experts on the way. Just reach out for help in case of need we are happy to support you in this case. Let me now move a bit away from all the technology talk and focus on human beings behind the machine. Since any system can only be used to its best extent with the right person using it. CDM primarily focus on data flows and data integrity. Data is managed in the right way, I would just say. Um, cleaning data by query management, doing reports at a certain time, whereas the CDS, the clinical data settings, expand the scope of clinical data management by adding the data meaning and uh, data dimensions, providing insights to clinical trial data directly to support the clinical research. There, we will have also a movement from clinical data management to clinical data science. Moving from the so-called listing-based information, <coughs> sorry, um, there machines are better used for such tasks and humans would be better for interpretation. Finding patterns in listings and Excel trackers is quite exhausting and error prone. Whereas visualization capabilities help you look at data and extract meaning from the information quite fast and intuitively. This is key for study teams and it enables them to move fast and explore different aspects of a problem and identify the right question to ask. Thus having data-driven dashboards, example for enrollment, patient status, data progress, data clearance, uh, would level up our clinical operations and apart from any risk-based data analysis, centralizing trials might offer. 
So our clinical operations and uh, trial study teams that are the cutting edge of this new technology operation model. They are moving from the once paper-based and task workforce to high-tech professionals, conducting remote oversight based on risk assessment methodologies and can have trial cost reduction compared to classical methods by ensuring a high quality and data integrity standard. Risk-based monitoring Turing is already demanding more technology understanding. I, I agree. And uh, it gives me insight levels. If you want to dig deeper into risk-based monitoring measures, effects, and guidances, we will host another seminar, webinar on the topic. Please see our upcoming webinar even at the end of the session. So this is skill set um, and the traditional rules in clinical trials will convert, uh, as in foreseen also by the Society of Data Management uh, a few years ago. And the students get will expand, for example, there will be clinical data architects, uh, advanced platforms will automate former manual tasks, statistical programmers will migrate into different work groups, uh, contributing to risk-based approaches, Ensure SAS, if somebody asks, will remain the industry standard for a foreseeable future. But the appetite is growing for free and open software sources. So Air, Python, and similar offerings are becoming more competitive. The new clinical data manager, as automation reduces manual effort um, and become, he will become a uh, uh, data analyst in this regard, with focus uh, with less focus on operational tasks um, uh, and like coding and uh, cleaning data, and more on meaning of the data collection. They will take on blended responsibilities with CRAs to identify trends in data, or for example, also identify signals, safety signals in data sources like eCore or ePros. Uh, where the CRI don't do reviews on since they are collected directly on patients, all contributing to the centralized remote data review in this regard. The new CRA, um, hallmark of them will be the analytical thinking and flexibility to support cross-functional operations. Sure, for the CRA, they will remain sole masters of an essential domain management of clinical site contacts and relationships. This will be a core function for them since good site relations will be crucial as site staff cope with changing technology, increasing complexity of trials, and the CRA responsibility will increasingly focus on understanding site staff and patient needs and keeping patients at the center of the clinical research process. So as new data sources and supporting clinical trials uh, are advancing and taking a foothold in the clinical research domain, the role of the clinical data manager will become much more complex. And this change is in the same time a blessing, I would say, as well as a challenge. As the transition from clinical data management into clinical data science, oh, sorry, we need a proactive management risk means uh, the risk assessment must go beyond the typical risk impacting study timelines, deviations from the data standards and the protocol or identifying critical data and processes. What I mean, risk management must start with the risk prevention, thus called the quality by design by identifying threats prior to the first patient being enrolled into the study. We can access risk already associated with protocol designs, uh, with uh, a certain study setup, with country involved, with profiles of sites selected, uh, same as from deviation of standard of care and many other study executions activities. All have a potential for leading to errors that could negatively impact uh, the credibility and the liability of the trial results. 
Understanding risk-based approaches when conducting clinic studies in patients, especially uh, in centristic and decentralistic environments, is also one of the keys. Managing risk associated with rather these complex data flows resulting from different data and system used in trials. Means EDC, EPRO, uh, sensor collections, uh, as well as monitoring reports, for example. And identifying systematic or process driven data issues, including those from trial design and study conduct, such as rare of enrollment, technology use, uh, will be key. Uh, they will efficiently and reliably monitor such risks through the holistic review of all clinical data um, with the centralized approach to collect all data in a centralized repository. So finding patterns and anomalies across studies, countries and sites and patients is not a problem anymore in the future. The rise of big data uh, is big and complex. Um, uh, the data stream and the availability of innovative new technologies, even the maturation of artificial intelligence, the adoption of new study designs, the evolution of regulations are already starting to reshape what clinical data management means and covers new today. These changes are no longer buzzwords used to attract people, but the reality that we all must tackle nowadays. It is no longer possible to blindly apply a one size fits all approach and continue this approach in the future. We are really in an exciting area right now where quality by design, critical thinking, risk based approaches, and a fit for purpose approach will prevail. There we can raise data integrity and data quality while saving overall costs in clinical trials. <clears throat> I'm sure there is always an adequate solution uh, for each trial individually. And there is a German saying, don't shoot sparrows uh, with parents. Means um, there is a lot of new technology on the marketing to being used, but you are not forced to use this. Thus, the technology that's available needs to be used uh, in a fit for your purpose in a trial. Thank you for your interest. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all the news on clinical research.